in this example, we can see that the figure shows a conducting shell of inner radius R1 and outer radius R2, and uh, the shell is given a charge Q, and uh, a point charge plus Q is placed at a distance R from the center of the shell, and we are required to find the potential at a point P. This is the point P. Due to the charge on shell, which is located at a distance x from plus q as shown. Now, this is a point P which is located at a distance x from the charge plus q, and we are required to find the potential at point P due to the charges on the shell. Now, in this situation, we can always state that at every interior point of the shell, as electric field is zero. Due to electrostatic shielding, here we can state that potential at point P will be equals to the potential at point C, which is the center of shell, and the potential at point C can be given by the two charges. One is due to the charge on the shell as well as on to due to the charge plus Q located at a distance R from point C. So this can be written as K Q by R two plus K Q by R. K Q by R two is the potential at point C due to this outer charge on the charge on the outer surface of shell, and K Q by R is due to the point charge located at a distance R from the center of shell. Now this is the net potential of point P or C, and if we talk about point P. It will have potential due to this charge as well as due to this charge. So we can see that the potential at point P will be due to the charge Q, which is on the shell, plus due to the charge plus Q located at a distance x from it. That will be equal to K Q by x, which should be equals to K Q by R two plus K Q by R. So in this situation, potential at point P due to the Charge on the outer surface of this shell can be given as K Q by R two plus K Q by R minus K Q by X. That will be the answer to this problem.